Good morning everybody. This is my 2008 Yamaha V-Star 650 custom model with some aftermarket mods. <clears throat> In my previous video I touch upon the blue collar bobber seat that I got. It adds a nice look to the bike. Just one problem I was having is that the bottom of the seat was bottoming out the fender. Went to a local motorcycle shop and he said that this spring was a thinner gauge metal and it was compressing more than maybe an aftermarket spring. So he had these in his shop that he suggested that I try. They're a thicker metal, a stronger um, design. So I basically brought them home and found out that both these holes were the same exact design. What I mean is this was flat and this one was flat and obviously I need obviously the bottom flat and I need the top twisted so in a vertical um, motion just like this <clears throat> I had to put these clamps in a vise I had to heat up this corner and basically take this loop and twist it from horizontal to vertical and uh, just by sheer luck both sides I did it in one shot each I test fit them and I didn't have to reheat them and they sit and work perfectly I had them the other way sitting this way what I was finding is that they weren't compressing as much when I was uh, jumping up and down on the bike and also riding but the seat obviously I was riding most of the cushion and not the springs so he also suggested put it the other way because now the springs are going to ride on, on these flex points. The bottom screw is tight, but I can't twist it now. But these, this screw and this uh, nut with a nylon in there, it's, it's loose enough. Now, this piece of metal, kind of they move together. Um, also, in this, in this one, it was also su suggested that I never really tighten the top. So, because when it moves, you, you, you want it to, you know, move. So, that still doesn't help it from bottoming out, but now I know to keep this one just enough loose um, where when you hit the seat, it, it, it's, it swivels. But that's the uh, aftermarket springs that I put on my blue collar bobber seat. So far, they're uh, working very well, and I have no complaints. So I added uh, three more accessories from the local motorcycle shop. Nothing crazy. I added an outdoor thermostat and a quartz clock that fit right on the handlebars. Outdoor thermostat or thermometer which says on the face of the thermometer it's basically just outdoor temperature whether it's accurate or not is irrelevant. Basically wanted to counterbalance the clock. I really wanted the clock I wanted to put the clock in the middle but there's, a wire, there's two wiring harness underneath here and it just looked awkward if it was by itself so I opted for the outdoor thermostat and then the clock of course regular quartz clock with a battery in it so when I'm riding I could figure out what time it is I don't wear a watch when I ride but some people do and that's it it goes along with the uh, handlebars a nice rubber seal on both of them so when you wash the bike you don't get any water in the lens. They match the chrome look of the handlebars and they're attached with two Allen keys and they're just compression fit. Anywhere where there's a round cylinder on your bike you could put these. Obviously they suggest handlebars. I think they add to a nice little look. Maybe not too crazy. And the third accessory would be this cramp buster. Exactly what it is. You'll be riding on the highway. Your palm will sit right here. And your fingers will be free. And you could ride the throttle with your palm. So if you're doing 70, 80, even 90, and your hands are like this, your fingers get cramped. But when you let go of your fingers, sometimes your thumb has to hold the throttle so the... Uh, 
you don't bog down and then the engine speed slows you down doing 70 on the highway and now someone's up your ass. So they, someone somehow invented this piece of plastic basically and you could do 70 and just let go and you're technically just riding on the palm. Because uh, my bike when I'm doing 70, 80 is almost half inch full throttle and having the fingers loose or free or even wearing the gloves and having the air go through your fingers is definitely better when you're on a couple hour trip than to just hold this thing and lock it in. So that's the uh, Cramp Buster, also got it at a local motorcycle shop. And for right now that's it folks, a couple accessories for the summer of 2013.